Dr. Fauci needs to step down and the FBI needs to investigate his role in unleashing that deadly coronavirus that debilitated the world. The newly released Fauci emails confirms our worst fears that Dr. Fauci, along with the United States government, knew Chinese scientists were working on gain of function research. In layman's terms, it simply means they knew China was weaponizing an animal virus to turn it into a super virus designed to kill humans. At least 600,000 American taxpayer dollars, probably much more, went to the Wuhan lab where that research took place. We know that to be a fact. And now, despite Fauci's insistence that the virus came from nature, the email release confirms multiple well-respected scientists warned him about the most likely scenario, a leak from the Wuhan lab. They also warned him it appeared the virus had been weaponized, yet he stood before the nation and continued to push that theory that it came from a bat. The mutations that it took to get to the point where it is now is totally consistent with a jump of a species from an animal to a human. When we have so many diseases that emanate out of that unusual human-animal interface, it's all false now. I'm confident of this. I think it will be proven. Now, mind you, there is no evidence of what Dr. Fauci just talked about. None. After thousands of animals tested, scientists have yet to identify one that is infected with the China virus. Not a bat, not anything. And remember, China has refused to cooperate with any legitimate investigation. And U.S. intelligence believes China has already destroyed much of the evidence pointing to the lab leak. But as early as today, after the email release, Fauci still continues to say this about China. Obviously, you want openness and cooperation. One of the ways you can get it is don't be accusatory. Don't be accusatory towards China? China engaged in an act of war, if not by simply letting the virus spread. But I'm left asking, why is the United States involved at all with helping our enemy design and grow deadly super viruses? China attacked the world, not just the United States, and yet Fauci sides with China. I think the accusatory part about it is only going to get them to pull back even more. We've got to do it in a combination of diplomacy, scientific, forensic investigation, and do it in a way that the people of good faith, not who want to do blame, but people in good faith are really trying to find out what the origin is. Good faith, he says. China profited off the pandemic. It exploited it. The virus leveled a crushing blow to the American economy. It destroyed families. It left millions of people dead across the globe. His defense of China is unfathomable. What do they have on this man? I mean, the idea, I think, is quite far-fetched that the Chinese deliberately engineered something so that they could kill themselves as well as other people. Uh, I, I think that's a bit far out, John. China doesn't care about its people, by the way. It engages in genocide right now as far as the Uyghurs go. Dr. Fauci wants to say this is all far-fetched, he declares. A bit far out, he questions. He didn't think of that in January of 2017, just before President Trump took office. Listen to his oh-so-prophetic prediction we managed to uncover today. There is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, both chronic infectious diseases in the sense of already ongoing disease, and we have certainly a large burden of that, but also there will be a surprise outbreak. A surprise outbreak? You hear that? Dr. Fauci predicted a surprise outbreak all the way back in 2017. Remember, at that time, the Wuhan lab had been weaponizing viruses for years, been working on it. 
The email release proves Fauci knew that they had been working about it. All of it puts Dr. Anthony Fauci at the center of one of the worst pandemics the modern world has ever seen. And instead of investigating him, instead of investigating his agency for the, all their role in creating this virus, possibly, the mainstream media ignores the scandalous new email evidence and not only covers for Fauci, but they have the audacity to praise him. They offer a glimpse into Fauci's frantic schedule and the weight that came with his role uh, of being a bearer of honest news, frank and honest news, on the Trump administration's coronavirus task force. Oh, boy. That coming from CNN, a place you don't get honest news from. Honest news from Fauci? He lied about everything. He lied about the masks. He lied about asymptomatic spread. He lied about the lockdowns, all of it, while the world trusted him. He discouraged any investigation into that Wuhan lab. He still does, deceptive, deceptively telling us to trust scientists working for the Chinese Communist Party. Come on. A known enemy of the United States. You think you can trust those scientists? Not a chance. The lesson here is never give so much regulatory power to one entrenched bureaucrat. Because if it's proven that he helped cover up or, God forbid, even create one of the worst crimes ever committed against humanity, the spread of the China virus, justice would need to be served. But that'll never happen if, once again, the FBI ignores the evidence in protection of a deep state bureaucrat. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.